This happened with y'all, it's your main man, Eddie Ward, representing South Philly. By any means, it's the squad, track team, and the umbrella, you did. I think I just was like, listening to like a public enemy. Rock Kim, I didn't understand exactly what they were saying at the time, but um, it was growing on me. And my inspiration was this dude named, uh, named Sight. You know what I'm saying? He was like backpacking and 360 waves and a book bag with the polo shirts and all that tricky stuff uh, back all, all the way back then. You know what I'm saying? I heard him spin on the corner one day and then, like the way like the way the crowd reacted to what he was saying. You know, we got that uh, we got that old effect. Oh, 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 oh. And I, I'm saying ever since then, I always wanted to um, give people that uh, that same type of feeling. Spit that joint. Uh, what these haters want from E W B Y? Haters give me ice cream grits when I speed by. Chicks from my pads be like he was so shy. All day, every day, we gon' stay fly. A house full of sharp shit, water wall carpet. Eat a whole lot like I own my own market. If you ain't living the thug life, then don't talk it. If you ain't rolling the L fan, then don't spark it. You talk a lot of shit, but to me, you a target. Just another spot for me to aim the Glock. Some, some, something along those lines. You know what I'm saying? Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty violent, you know what I'm saying? At the time, everybody had to have racks and stuff like that. But they ain't the bars now. It's more conscious of anything, so. No, because, um, like, uh, <clears throat> a lot, another artist that I listened to when I was a kid was Fresh Prince, Will Smith. And, you know, um, you know any of his material, he, uh, hardly curses in any of his music. So, um. I kind of uh, do my best to try to replicate that, you know, keep as many um, curse words out of my lyrics. Like-minded individuals, you know what I'm saying? Enlightened people. Um, people that love music, people that love words. Um, but more so than anything, I make music for the future generations, you know what I mean? I want people to, uh, to hear my music years down the line and, and like, I had my music talking about exactly what they're experiencing, you know, you know, in their um their everyday lives. So I make music for the future. Awesome bars. <clears throat> I like watching um videos produced by Robbie Live. I like Robbie Live beats, Phil Black, um, Fat So, Eddie Ward, you know what I'm saying, uh K Dot, you know, uh people that, that I know personally that I can draw my inspiration from years ago. My man Fatso, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was just going around the neighborhood that there was this dude that was making beats. And I did not, not that I even knew he was making them all PlayStation, but he was making these beats. And the beat, he had this Mario beat that was, like everybody saying was crazy. So we met then, but it was like a real brief meeting. You know what I'm saying? And then um, some years later, we linked back up, you know, and I guess, it was, it was just our time, you know what I'm saying, to, to uh, start making music. Because the moment that me and him, uh, the moment that we linked up, man, that shit just was like, shit was crazy. Like, the chemistry was, was, was there, you know what I'm saying? That shit like uh, wind and water. You get a tsunami, tornadoes, hurricanes. Like, that's what we do when you know, we work together, man. Catch wreck. Like I said, like, a lot of my music uh, back then, as a, uh, a young man, a lot of the music came out of my imagination. Um, a lot of the stuff that I was writing wasn't based on life experiences. Uh, as I got older, the dudes like Kanye West came out and, you know, um, Common and them dudes. And, you know, they were just like pulling most of their energy straight off of um, their actual, uh, their life stories. And that was something that I wanted to, um, to, to be able to do. That was one of the abilities I wanted. So I just started like writing about my life and you know from there I just got better. Treat it like my trash. Early bird, get the worm, beat it like an ass. I'm looking down at all of y'all, my feet are by the legs. I'm asking on the pedal, what y'all see is drop ahead. Like I said, I'm the man, it's clear, I'll be the rapper ass. I go by the read this shit. Fuck you at me style, never back me down. Hit like packy out, hazardous to breathe it in the back to wait to track me down. I quote raps from the conscious view. Smoke tracks, no one wonder when my conscience through. No A's, I made it easy like my conscience. Continue to grow. Just from writing 
you know, writing directly off of my life experiences and what I go through. So when you listen to my music, just know that everything I'm giving you is 100% me.